everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog so in today's video i wanted to film a day in the life i woke up this morning and <laughs> it was so rainy and gloomy and cozy and i have been in the best mood ever since <laughs> bradley was like it's a bit weird that you know it's the first day it hasn't been sunny in weeks and this is the happiest I've seen you. I just, I can't help it. I'm an autumn gal and I am in my fields today and it's really like cloudy and overcast today um, and I'm loving every second of it. <laughs> I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I love like summer when I'm away on holiday. I think that's what I've discovered over the years. I like having an actual holiday where I can just sit in the sun, get in the pool and it gets a bit too hot. Your room's got air con, that's perfect. I just don't think our English houses aren't cut for the summer heat when our fans are blowing hot air back at us. It's just, that's not when I'm at my happiest. I love summer and I do appreciate every single season, but I think this year I might, you know, get a little bit excited for autumn a bit earlier than usual. And I don't think that's a bad thing. And I put a video on my Instagram, on my story, of the rain and I said does this not make you just feel so cozy and so many people were like I love it so maybe I'm not the only one I don't know and I love how I've come here to talk about you know coziness in autumn when I need to finish packing for my summer holiday <laughs> so that's funny but no I am very excited for my holiday um, and to finish packing and to get the house all sorted I need to sneeze <sighs> okay that's another thing about summer it's the hay fever. This year, it's been so bad to the point where my, it's like my throat feels like it's just, I don't know, it's like swollen. Just, I don't know. The hay fever this year, there's something in the pollen and I'm not a fan of it because it's making me feel all weird and as soon as I have that first sneeze, it's like I've broken the seal and that's it. And I always talk about sneezing and hay fever in my videos but that is something that comes with summer unfortunately that's definitely the worst part to summer i think anyway <laughs> moving on um so back in the summer mode um i want to finish packing for holiday obviously that's why my suitcase is still here and there's crap everywhere in this room it's just a mess it's like an organized mess i've got some clothes on my suitcase there which i need to put into that suitcase but i think i'm going to wait until everything is washed i've got some more things that i need to wash and put in there so there's no point kind of doing that undoing it to then do it tomorrow do you know what i mean so i'll probably just wait until tomorrow but my toiletries we went to tesco's the other day and i bought loads of toiletries so i thought i could go through them with you all um i also want to pack my like travel hand luggage bag kind of thing which is there um, I thought we could do that together and I can show you what I'm bringing and how I pack it because I love doing organising videos um, and you guys love to see them. I also have some house updates for you all. So if you've watched my last two videos, you will know that me and Bradley are moving house. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited to move house. So yeah, we're finally moving house. So because we've done a lot of stuff in this house, I mean, not crazy things, obviously completely rent friendly, but things like we put vinyl, like sticker flooring in the kitchen, and um, we've done the same thing on the worktops, on the sides, and in the ensuite upstairs. And we're slowly, like each evening, trying to go through each room to basically declutter. So our plan is to kind of declutter, and then once we've decluttered everywhere, we can then just pack everything. Um, so that's the plan. So we've done, we've decluttered the kitchen and Bradley really kindly done the flooring and the sides. Um, also the ensuite, the bedroom. So I wanna have, so I wanna show you guys like some house updates that we have in this house. Um, and I thought we could talk about the new house as well because I feel like I haven't really spoken about it. And I'm just, I'm so excited to move as you guys can probably tell. Um, and it's gonna be very quick after our holiday. So it's nice to like kind of go away, relax a little bit, very calm before the storm and then just you know get as much packing and stuff done as possible um, as soon as we're home and all the moving vlogs will be here and it's just um, all really exciting stuff I've also got some home deliveries for the new home coming today one of them came yesterday so I want to show you guys that 
um, and then we've got a big delivery and I keep getting updates on it on my phone um, and that's coming between 10 and 1 it says so yeah really excited for that one and I'll show you guys when that's here obviously I'm not gonna like unbox it completely because it's really big but I'll show you guys when it's here but yeah thought we could have a nice day together make sure you get a nice cozy drink hope you're feeling cozy as well um and let's get into it as you can see in the background is a mess i just need to accept it because we're obviously packing to go on holiday and i don't know why but it's like everything gets messy while you're packing to go away and because obviously we're moving now i feel like the house just isn't going to be tidy <laughs> at all so i'm just trying to like you know it's all good it's fine doesn't need to be clean yet we'll just wait until the new house <sighs> it's fine so yeah anyway let me show you guys some house updates first and then we can get in here and i'll show you guys the toiletries and stuff like that guys can you see what's in this box outside my bedroom this is some autumn decor and it's making me feel very happy right now so this is our bedroom as you guys know um, it looks like, you know, nothing's changed, but basically last night we undone the bed, because this is obviously an ottoman, and we decluttered everything. So everything that is now under there is stuff that we're going to take to the new place, which feels really good. That took a few hours. Um, we're actually having an office in the new place, so this area here with the baskets, I organised that. And we also organised our bedside tables. Moving into the ensuite, I've taken all of these products away because a lot of them were like completely out of date um, and I've taken some stuff out of the bottom I've completely emptied these drawers and this had like a marble vinyl sticker that I put on it um, and this is a really like rent for any hack but it's like a sticker that you kind of peel off so we pulled it off and now it's back to normal and it feels really weird in here because it's just a lot darker um, but it feels nice, it's really empty, it just feels really echoey um, and we need to give everything a good clean, so yeah. It just feels, it just feels really weird. Um, these are some things, oh, I need to take these for holiday, adapters. Um, so basically, things in the bedroom are done, it's just the things that we're actually taking now. So we need to like, obviously pack away the stuff that's in the drawers and like, on top and stuff. Um, so yeah. How exciting. And I also need to take down like the frames and the mirrors and everything like that and the light shades. As you guys know our kitchen very well if you've watched the vlogs. Look at how different it looks now. So we've taken the flooring up and the sides up. Um, so this had like all vinyl on it. So yeah, we've completely taken it up. It doesn't mark the surfaces or anything. Sometimes there might be a bit of sticky residue and you just get a sponge and then it comes off straight away. Um, but it feels really weird and like dark in here, it's so strange. So yeah, this is all done um, and the flooring. Um, we've just kind of got things that need to be put away into the garage and stuff. Um, we've washed some bits up. Um, this unit, we, we've actually sold it. So um, everything that's on here, we just need to take off basically. Um, and then I think a lady's picking this up tonight. So yeah, that's going. We've also got washing 24 7 what it feels like at the minute and um, this is a home delivery in here for the new house so i'll open that with you guys in a second um i've also washed loads of towels and stuff oh i need to take these upstairs actually these are our beach towels i don't know if you remember these from last year but they're such good towels um so i've just washed them and like freshened them up so everything in here hasn't been touched or anything yet to be honest i think majority of stuff that's in here we're keeping um i'm gonna obviously look through the drawers and organize things like that i'll like declutter things maybe i'll do that today or tomorrow um, and also we've got these ones over here as you can see um which need to be really decluttered once you're being strict and you're like throwing all the stuff away that you don't use anymore you don't need isn't a use to like anyone it just makes your mind feel really clear and my goal for like our new house is to not be cluttered and not to be a hoarder for anything and just be really minimal because it just makes everything so much easier it makes it easier to clean organize tidy everything so yeah i'm excited to like start in here but my mum said to me work from the top 
down because obviously we're not gonna like pack away things in the kitchen yet because we need it that's kind of like the last thing you do but also the first thing that you unpack so that'll be done nearer the time and we'll just have like one bowl or plate or whatever that we can eat off when when it comes to it near the time um but yeah it just feels it feels weird that i've kind of like i love this house and it holds so many like special memories and grown a lot as a person in this house but it just feels really nice to kind of move on and just i'm just so excited to show you guys a new place i'm so excited so yeah i can't wait was i really zoomed in then sorry about that sorry if i was zoomed in um but yeah, really exciting. And I'm waiting for a delivery, which is saying, which is saying it'll be here any second. So exciting. I feel like all I'm gonna say is, <laughs> excuse the mess in the background, but yeah, it is very messy, but there's no point cleaning it all when it's just gonna get messy again in two seconds. I've also just put this cardigan on because it's a little bit more cozy. And um, so I wanted to go through the toiletries that I'm gonna bring and then I thought we could pack them and then also pack my bag that I'm taking up my travel. What's it called? hand luggage kind of bag is it hand luggage i think it is so i picked up all of this from tesco's um so i've got these double cotton wool pads these are the best ones also my cellar water i get this one or the rose one whatever's on offer at the time um but this one looks really lovely so i got that um that just helps i always use that in the day i've noticed in the mornings instead of washing my face i thoroughly wash it before i go to bed obviously i'm sorry what is this bit of hair i'm sure if you've watched my videos before you will know about this bit of hair and if you don't i'm not going to say it again because i feel like i always say it but it's so annoying um but yeah in the mornings i've started just using micellar water and a couple of cotton pads and it's been really helping my skin i don't know if it's because i'm not putting as much product on i'm not sure um so i've been using this a lot and i also use it before bed for like mascara and any kind of residue um i picked up a sheet mask i thought there might be a day on holiday where i could just use a little bit of a freshen up a little bit more of moisture um, in my skin i always find the air con in the rooms as much as it's amazing it can dry your skin out at times but it's weird isn't it because when you're out and about throughout the day you're so hot and sweaty and then you go to the room and it's cold so you're kind of a little bit like okay my skin's a bit all over the place so i thought that'd be nice to freshen up um face wipes these are biodegradable ones i just thought on nights where i can't be bothered to take my makeup off I could use them and um, which to be fair I never really do these are really good when I'm getting ready because I always put like foundation and stuff on my hands and then wipe it off and stuff so these are just good to have compede blister plasters um this is my old packet so I thought I could just refill this oh it's actually full so I thought I could put these ones in there because I think this case is a lot better I mean these are a bit bigger damn it they're not gonna fit <laughs> okay well that's annoying um i'm guessing they've changed all the packaging now i'll just have to slot these ones in my handbag or something but yeah anyway it's fine we've got both i think these are always something that you need to take on holiday um because i feel like even if you have shoes that you wear all the time do you know when you're like walking a lot it can just you know you get blisters it's annoying um, I picked up this for my face. So this is a 50 plus SPF. It's like a really high one. And it's a dark spot control. I have noticed over the years, I don't need to turn my face a lot. I wear makeup a lot of the time anyway. And I want to protect my skin. I've noticed I get a lot of moles um, when I just sort of leave my face in the sun. I've got a mole on my lip, um, which just appeared one day, and I think it's obviously just from not protecting my skin enough. Um, and I've noticed I'm getting a lot more kind of like dark spots as I'm getting older, and I want to protect it. So we found this very high SPF. Um, it looks really good, and I thought this is a really good one for my face. Um, I did have, I think it's over there, another sun cream. But I also picked up this. This is what Bradley wanted. A bronze 30 SPF. I don't know. It's like a spray kind of one. It's not an oil. It's like a... 
Oh, it's a water resistant oil spray. That's what Bradley, this is what Bradley wants. I like to use more of a cream because I find that it lasts longer and it's a bit more thicker, but he'll have that. Um, paracetamol. I'm trying to think if I need to get any other like medication. I do tend to like bring a couple of things. I want to get some hay fever tablets, ibuprofen, which I think we've got upstairs and like other random bits and bobs. I'm going to bring my wild deodorants. Um, so I've got them. I haven't been as prepared and I don't have time to order myself a Foxy Lock shampoo and conditioner as much as that's what I want to use and that's all I use on my hair and have done for years. I'm really nervous um, so I quickly bought this. Now I haven't used anything else on my hair but I was looking for like cleaner ingredients um i think this looks good um it basically doesn't have loads of like bad things in i think like sulfate and stuff apparently but i'm not sure <laughs> so it's just so frustrating because i just use foxy Lux or any other products like shampoo products that i get from like tesco's or whatever i look at all the ingredients and stuff and i just think the quality isn't the same so that's slightly annoying um i picked up a small hairspray i don't use a lot of hairspray but if i do like slick back looks it's also really good to use um body wash i usually use dove but this was a pound so i thought you know perfect for holiday because i shower a lot on holiday so it doesn't really matter oh this is good this is a sun protect spf lip balm which is what i need for my mole that's why I always have to wear like lipstick and stuff because I need to protect it. This is Bradley's wax. I always like to smell like men's stuff like that, but that doesn't really smell that nice. <laughs> um, and a product that I've been using a lot at the moment is my personalised Skin and Me Daily Dose. So this is so good. You literally twist it and it gives you the perfect amount. And I think this has been helping with my skin um, I've mentioned it a couple of videos ago that my skin has been really bad, breaking out a lot. I've been using this and loving it, so I'm going to keep up with the results. But so far, I can't fault it. It's so good. Um, and then also, I wanted to bring a red lipstick. I need to find a red lip liner in one of my drawers. Um, but I thought on one of the nights, I might want to have red lipstick on. I'm a nude lipstick kind of gal, but I thought I might want to. So, yeah. And I've also got other toiletries in the bag over there. Um, if you watched my pack with me, you would have seen that. So get them in a minute because I need to obviously pack the bag up. So let's do that now. Okay, so I've got this bag here, which is just a DKNY one. Um, and I thought I could put as much toiletries in here as possible. So this is the sun cream I was telling you about, which I'll use. And then we've also got after sun here. Um, and then in this bag here um i've got like my by terry tea to tan um i've got these like laundry products so this is um the bold all-in-one and then this is just comfort and then this one is comfort and water for like a crease release so i've got those um i've got a little mitt here um i've got some more tanning stuff illuminating body oil um a face fake tan and a nail oil here um this is bradley's watch i'm gonna put that with mine over there because we both <laughs> need those um so if i take things out of the packaging add it up a little bit so if i put all of this in there i'm gonna do one toiletry bag to go in bradley's Okay, maybe I'll do that one in Bradley's suitcase because I've basically got all the toiletries in mine um, because obviously we'll share it. So I've got my micellar water. Thing is, I always use so much of it so it just seems like, I don't know. Do I put this in a smaller bottle? But I don't even think I've got a smaller bottle. I think I'll just have to take it. I'm ready for all the comments like you're packing way too much but this is what we brought last year and we used it all and it's just 
I'm the kind of person, I'm very anxious when it comes to traveling and forgetting something, like I hate it, so I'd rather bring way too much. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the comments when I filmed the pack with me was just, it was too much, but anyway. Um, this is toiletry bag number one. So I have obviously the after sun, my sun cream and the face sun cream. These are really good to do my skincare with, so it's like the little bands and then I've got a headband. Cotton pads, deodorant, I've got my skin in me here, um, which to be honest, I'm having this open so I can still use this in the evenings. I've got my laundry stuff here, um, the Compede blister plasters in there. I don't think there's anything in here. This one is more of like a glow and tanning kind of bag. It's not that full to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, that one is just good to have separately. This one has got the main toiletries in, so it looks quite messy at the minute, but I've tried to do it as neat as possible. So we've got our shampoo and conditioner, because me and Bradley share it, we bring a full size one. Um, I've got obviously the body wash um, and just a lot of the toiletries in here, which I've popped. Um, these, these are magnets. So these are like magnet hooks um, because all the walls in your cabins on a cruise are metal. So these are really good to just like <laughs> put on the wall and then you can hang stuff on there. These aren't the strongest ones. So I couldn't, for example, put this on there because this would like weigh it down. But I do put stuff on there like some handbags and I don't know, like some belts and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, they're just really handy to have and they'll give you your itinerary like every day. So it's good to just pop it on the wall so you don't forget. But yeah, I think this will go in Bradley's suitcase because I've got a lot of the other toiletries here and my makeup to go in this suitcase. So yeah, that can go into his one, um, which I think is fair. And then obviously I need to pack my makeup up, but I'll do that literally the day before and then I'll put my brushes in here. This is a spare bag, I don't know if I'll put anything in here but it's just handy to have um, maybe if Bradley needs it for anything. This has got my camera in, I think I'll put my other one in there as well and have this in my hand luggage. So yeah, and then over here um, I've charged my mirror. This mirror I took last year when we went away and it was incredible because it's just easy to travel with. So it comes with this little stand and then you charge it, you pop it on there. So you charge it, I bought the charger here because I'll use that for other things as well. So if it's plugged in, um, the light comes on and off. You can change the setting of it if you want it warmer, cooler. I always have it on this one. And then you just turn it on and off and you can dim it as well if you hold that down. Um, but because on the dressing table, the plugs are literally just behind it, um, instead of spending loads of money on new batteries, I just keep this plugged in. And then I've got my mirror here. And the lighting is just so much better. So, yeah, this is a really good travel mirror. Um, and I've obviously got the charger that I'll bring with it. So it's just so handy to, like, travel with. I'll take the stand bit off, push that down. And it just makes it really compact. So... I loved that. So this is my list that I showed you guys in my pack with me and I thought we could tick it off. Um, so I've got sanitary items. I always put my sanitary items in my hand luggage. Um, so I've got toothbrush, toothpaste, shaver. It isn't my estrid one, but I have got shaver. Oh, safety clips. I need those. Um, okay, I'm going to put those inside it. Um, sun cream, moisturiser, um, I've got my skin in me but not my Ole so I'll leave that. So electrical, I think what I'm going to do is put, is tick this the day before because I need things like my camera, obviously my iPad, my Apple Watch stuff, like the charger and stuff. I need it now up until we leave so I'm just going to leave that one. Clothes, um, I need to try on my swimsuits to see which ones I want to take. Um, I need to get a shawl, trainers for the gym, um, okay, first aid kit, antihistamine, <laughs> okay, face sun cream, compete plasters, I need to bring some perfume as well, um, seasickness tablets, I need to get some of those, we need to bring our games, um, <laughs> I mean, from my previous video, I don't even need to talk about bags because everyone came for me, so let's just leave that. Um, fake tan and mitt, so this is all my skincare, again obviously I use it, um, things like this is easy for me to kind of just grab like my skin and me and stuff, um, but I'll just 
leave that for now and then obviously my makeup i'm just putting this camera on charge now i think it's actually charged <laughs> the green light's on but i'm gonna leave it for a little bit um over here is stuff to go into bradley's suitcase so i've got our two towels which are actually really thin so once they're folded like good and um, they'll actually fit in really well and then I've got toiletry bag number one. This is like majority of our toiletry. So obviously all the stuff that I went through. And then this is um, my fake tan one. And I've also put a dry shampoo in there as well. So I'm going to ask him if he'll kindly have that in his. But to be fair, he's always got so much room. And it's a lot of stuff that we're sharing. Like his wax and things like that. So it's fine. Um, and then I'm just getting my stuff ready here to pack into my bag which I'm taking for like my travel bag I really love it so I've obviously got my passport and Bradley's passport in here so that's really handy and um, these tags we need to reprint I've just asked Bradley to do it reprint off our tags so we can put them on our suitcases um, so we've got those and then I've got some perfume sunglasses and stuff and then um, my book and I just need to pack some other little bits and bobs as well from my actual handbag now but two things um, one I'm really hungry and I really feel like having beans on toast um, actually we've got bagels I'm gonna have beans on bagels um, and the second thing I wanted to show you is something very big <laughs> that's just been delivered so yeah excuse the mess on the stairs Brady needs to take up his clothes and the iron but <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can guess what this delivery is um, but basically me and Bradley have got a new bed which is from one of my favorite brands called Dusk um, and I am so obsessed with it and I can't wait to show you obviously I'm gonna wait I'm not gonna open it because there's no point um, so that'll be in the moving vlog so it's so exciting the first vlog where we like are in the house we're gonna put the bed up um, and yeah I cannot wait to show you guys it is such a nice bed so yeah very excited cheesy beans and a bagel oh my god this looks so good I don't like the beans directly on the bagel or the bread because it goes soggy too quick so I like it on the side and then you get the perfect crunch so yum hey guys so it is now the next day so yesterday um i know this is technically a day in the life but yesterday the day just kind of went and it was the weirdest thing and then bradley came home we had dinner we we're basically waiting we're selling some bits and bobs um like furniture and stuff so we were waiting for like, people to come and then they don't show up and it's just so annoying so like i was kind of like holding off filming because we were waiting for like people to come and pick up furniture but i think they're coming tomorrow now instead um so i was just holding off and then the evening kind of went and i was just busy doing loads of washing and stuff so yeah that was what i was doing and a fly has just flown in here which is so annoying because it's always so loud but I thought I could show you guys the stuff in here that I got for dusk which is which is for the new house also because all of my summer stuff I'm like taking away with me on holiday and like, I've washed it all when it's all packed I've had to grab like old stuff um that I found from under the bed but like this dress I loved it a couple of years ago I think last year actually as well it is so big for me now that <laughs> it looks so funny like it is it's just not cool so it sounds about that but I just all my like stuff that I'm taking like my holiday stuff um is in my suitcase and I thought there's no point wearing it when I need it and then I have to wash it again and it's just effort so we've gone for the baggy style today I think I might put my pajamas back on because it's not comfortable but it's fine anyway I'm so thirsty today I think it's really like humid and stuff outside i feel so thirsty so the stuff i got from dust they really kind of gifted me and um, this is all stuff that i'm saving obviously until we move let me grab it all and i'll show you i feel like there's nothing better than like fresh bedding we're moving house we've got a brand new bed everything's just like all new and it's like my favorite thing so i'm just so excited so i picked up a duvet set we've actually got this already um but the piping of it's gray and it is our favorite duvet set ever 
ever, ever. It's so good. Um, and it's our only duvet set. Um, and it is our only duvet set that we have because basically the quality of this, <laughs> once you buy dusk bedding, sorry, the door's open. <laughs> Should probably shut that. But it's a really nice temperature. <laughs> once you try dusk bedding, you will thank me later. You will, like, you'll go to Tesco's or a shop like that and you'll find bedding and go, oh, that looks nice. Put it on your bed and be like, what is this? Just nothing, like, honestly, nothing compares. Um, so I have gone for, I think this is Mayfair, Mayfair, and this is 100% Egyptian cotton. And this is in white. Um, I also, like I said, have this with the grey or like silver lining but i thought it'd be nice to have a completely fresh one so we now have a spare bedding set which is really good because normally on a sunday we take the bedding off like take the sheets off put it in the wash and then we have to pray that it's dry by the evening <laughs> and we wash our bedding every single sunday so it'd just be so nice to not have that stress and then have have a spare set so honestly you guys i've gone through a lot of bedding in my time it's such an adult thing but honestly you'll thank me later um, and then I've also got a fitted sheet as well I'm not gonna open this until we move what I'm gonna do is like the first wash load in the new house I'm gonna wash this bedding put it out um, and then me and mum can unpack for the day or whatever and then and then we'll put it on the bed and I think it'd be really nice because it'll be all fresh so I'm really excited. I'm just so excited for all these like home deliveries. Um, and then the next things I've got are things that are very heavy. They also really kindly sent me two curtains. Um, so these are the shade natural. These curtains are incredible. I don't know if you remember a few months ago, I actually got these, but I got them in the wrong size. So I remember putting them up here and they were so short and it just didn't work. So I've gone for the longer ones and I thought the longer ones are better because they always look a little bit nicer longer and then we can always take them in if we need to. But these are really good because these are really good for like, I don't know if they black out. I don't know if these completely black out, um, but they are really thick and really amazing quality. And I love these. It makes it look really like expensive. And I also love the quality of them and the color, everything's amazing. Um, so these, I'm not sure where these are gonna go yet, either in our bedroom um, or the downstairs because we've actually got two of these doors so it could be nice to have it either side or we'll keep with the white ones i'm not sure yet but i love them and then something that i've also been doing sorry <laughs> i've just sneezed <sighs> i just can't this hay fever can you hear that fly this hay fever it's this year what is it i know i always speak about it but seriously I've just seen so many people say the same thing and it's like, it just feels 10 times worse this year. Like when you sneeze, everything just tickles and my eyes feel itchy, my throat feels itchy. That's the thing like this year, usually I don't get like an itchy throat or anything, but it's really bad this year. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Anyway, moving on to home stuff. So I've also created a Amazon storefront page, let me show you, um, of new house. This is my storefront. I love my Amazon storefront. It's my favorite thing ever. What I've done is I've made a new home list and on here is stuff that I am looking to buy from the new home. Um, anything that I've kind of got my eye on at the minute, I'm just adding it to that list. So if you guys wanna know things that I'm into, like any interior. This is a very sneak peek, but we've got an island. <sighs> Finally, um, so I'm looking at bar stools. I'm looking, guys, how nice is this mirror? Isn't that so nice? I've got some nice handles and stuff like that. I've just added loads of stuff and, and I'm gonna keep adding loads more things. So if you wanna see any like home stuff, if you want any ideas or anything like that, um, I'll pop my Amazon storefront down below for you guys if you wanted to check it out. I've got summer essentials, um, loads of my spring favorites, organization things. Literally so many things on here. So if you want any ideas for anything like that, um, that you think, oh, actually I really, I need that. Um, I'll just pop it down below for you guys and you can check it out. But anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. 
thank you so much for watching as always honestly i love you guys so much um so my videos for while i'm away i'm not gonna lie i haven't really planned it so i think i'm gonna film a video tomorrow um of like the holiday prep kind of thing um i'm getting my nails done i'm gonna redo my lashes i want to clean my makeup brushes um i've got to paint my nails i've got to do like the last minute bit so i thought i could film that so i'm hoping that that video will go up on sunday and i thought what i could do is just film my holiday while i'm there and then if i've got any spare time i'll just edit while i'm away um so i might have a week where i don't upload or if i've got good wi-fi then it'll be fine um, but I'll just keep you guys posted on my Instagram um, and subscribe if you haven't already because I know a lot of you watch me like on your tellies and stuff like that. Um, if you subscribe you actually get notified on your phone every single time I upload so you won't miss an upload which is really exciting because the holiday content is coming and I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah I'm very excited I'll keep you guys posted on uploads and stuff like that. Um, I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Show your face, let me see parts of you.